It is day 25 of 365. We have made it 25 days and going strong. I just, I always think like, what's gonna happen when I get to 365? But you know what? I'm gonna be present totally to all of this. And I was thinking, of course, what is it that I want to share with you today? And I was thinking about today and last night about a situation that happened when I was 16 years old that was really, um, really traumatic and, and caused a lot of pain and suffering for myself and of course everyone involved. And there was a lot of consequences for that. And it's 25 years later. And I was thinking about why for me, why was it so hard? Why did I suffer so much? And also thinking about situations in my life that I have suffered greatly. What causes that for me? And what causes that for me is when I argue against reality, I suffer. And I suffer greatly. I, when I want something to be different than what it is currently, I suffer. When I am attached to the past, usually that's what it is. I, I want to go back to how it was. Or I'm suffering because of the planned future, the imaginary future that I had in my mind is going to be no longer. And I suffer. When I am not present, I suffer. When I am attached, I suffer. When I am not able to accept, I suffer. And I suffer greatly. There are times that I, yeah, I have suffered greatly for, for a number of things. And, you know, time heals. From when I was 16 to now, I, I've definitely moved past. But it, just reflecting on, even with my mom's death, I was suffering so badly because I, I didn't want to let her go. But she was gone. Reality was she was gone. And the suffering, see pain is, pain is necessary. I think it's just a part of life. If, if we love, we are gonna feel pain. If, if, if I love, I'm gonna feel pain. If, if I care, I'm going to feel pain. If, if something goes away that I really care about and, and enjoyed, I'm, I'm going to feel some kind of pain perhaps. Pain is necessary, but suffering is optional. I don't need to suffer. Sometimes I need to feel pain. And how it how things started transforming for me when my mother passed away like that was the most intense struggle that I've ever had it was when I started to accept it and I surrendered to what was happening that's when the, the suffering started to dissipate the pain still lingered and sometimes it still lingers now but there is it's 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 a different kind of Feeling. It's not this suffering, nagging, agony, I can't move on, this, this, I don't want to be here, this is too hard. Um, it's not that. I don't know if this makes any sense to you. I was just thinking about how time, time does heal, definitely, from 16 to 41. <laughs> and how, at the end, Things always work out. They work out how they're supposed to work out. And just um, being present and, and accepting and going along with what is just makes life so much more enjoyable and easier and delightful and all of that good stuff. So my conclusion that I came about is when I argue against reality, I suffer. And Sometimes pain is absolutely necessary, but suffering is optional. That's up to us. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.